a little bit away from them. Okay? I know you like to sit with your friends, but right now, we need to learn with our friends. No speaking, learning, learning, learning. Okay? So the thief who was crucified on the right hand of Jesus asked him to remember him. And this was a sign of repentance. Right, Milo? Eyes on me. So that was repentance, guys. And that's why we pray this praxis response during Lent. Why? Because we're repenting. We have the spirit of repentance. Okay. Back to this week's lesson. We're going to start together. Uncle Fuad will be following on the screen with us. I want your eyes on the screen, please. Okay? All of us together. One, two, three. Our Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, fasted for for Fourteen of us from and we to lay. Okay. Christ and righteousness. Stop. Okay, very good, guys. That's what we learned last week. Great job. We will say it one more time because there are two areas I want us to be very sure about. I want to hear one voice. If I can hear somebody in the front, somebody in the back, then we're, we're not one chorus. Chorus means I can't differentiate between Daniel and Michael and George and Milo. There's just one voice. Okay? So let's say it all together again. One, two, three. Our Lord Jesus it for us for the days for the Stop, guys. Okay, one second. E and Ra, I chest. One second. Let's hear Uncle Fat say it. And then we will say it all together. But when we say, with purity and righteousness.
So, all right, guys, one, two, three. I want your attention on me. This part is the part that we will spend some time on for two reasons. I remember I spoke with you last week about the fact that our Coptic heritage, including our hymns, the original language that we learned them in was Coptic, right? And then now that we have generations here growing up, we're teaching these hymns in English. So you will notice variations. You may go to a church here, St. Mark's, we say it. We learn it, and then you go to a different church to visit and pray with them. You'll notice a difference in the way they say the hymn. That's perfectly fine, okay? That is perfectly okay because we're in the spirit of praying, not singing. That's number one. Number two, we're taking the hymn from the original language, and we're changing into a new language. So this part here, here's how we say it. You know the first part very well, so I'm going to skip right to the middle of it. And we do... Oh, let us fast with purity and righteousness. Okay, one more time. Eyes on the screen, please. And we do. Ole, it was fast with purity and righteousness. One more time. And we do. Us fast way. Good job. and One more time. And we do. Does fast with purity and One more time. And we do. Let us fast. As with purity and righteousness. Great. From the beginning, and then we'll move on to the new part. Our Lord. I want to hear you.
and we do. As fast as we and righteousness. Great. Do you think we're ready to move on, or should we say it one more time? One more time. Our Lord, or Jesus Christ, for us, for today's And we to all and as fast with purity and great. Okay, guys. And we too, remember when we say with, one, two, three, four, and then we finish with. Don't add one. Michael, turn around, please. Eyes on the screen. Don't add another uh, addition because if you do, you won't be able to make that transition to the rest of it. That's why learning hymns is very, very, very precise and accurate act of worship we do. We really learn it the way it is and say it the way it is. Okay, the next part. Next part. Eyes on the screen. Okay, when we finish, okay, we will say, and we, okay, so we're saying, let us fast with purity and righteousness. The rest of the verse says, and let us pray, proclaiming and saying, okay, and let us pray, proclaiming and saying. And this part also, if you see the words, and is divided, you see the two, um, Lines in the middle in and. Listen to how we say and. I said ta. I didn't say tas. So the S is separated. So I'm going to say T and the U and then an additional music and then we say the S. Okay? Very important. Guys, eyes on the screen. Ears with me, eyes on the screen. Okay. And as pray, proclaim, and saying. What do you think? Easy? So so? Not really easy. You think we can do it? You can learn it? Okay. All right. Let's hold the questions until the very end. Okay, hear it one more time. And we're going to split it in half, okay? Okay, so notice, ta, tu, and we're not saying the S yet. We're not finishing that word. That's why you see the separation. The word is divided into three parts. Guys, are you with me? Okay. All right. So, hear that one more time, and then we'll start saying it together. Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to bring the um, picture lower for you. Okay, we we'll stop here. One, two, three, all together. And 
ta. Okay, le ta, and then we did not finish. Very important we stop here because the next part is long and we want to learn it right. Okay, one, two, three. And le ta. Good, okay. Perfect. I am really pleasantly surprised. Okay, one more time. Let's keep saying it until we really get it down. One, two, three. And le Osprey and saying, Danny, and live. And saying one more time, and let us pray, proclaim. Eyes on the screen. Are you focusing? Because I'm hearing different words. We're still saying the same verse we're in. And let us pray, proclaiming, and saying. Okay? Eyes on the screen. Hold the questions till the end. Yes, Danny? No, let's we'll say it all together right, until we learn it. One, two, three. And let Pray, proclaim. Amen. Danny. Oh, you want to need for any? Okay, then you have to do homework at home. Move more. Well, one more time. Yeah, I think one more time is perfect. And then we say from the beginning, guys, we're memorizing. Repetitions will do most of the work for you. The more you repeat, the more you learn the hand, the more it becomes second nature for you. Okay? All right. Are you tired of sitting down? We can stand up while saying it. Okay, let's stand up, all of us. Stretch. Stretch. Stand up. And we're going to say the whole thing standing up, and then we will sit down. From the beginning, I meant. Okay, one, two, three. Eyes on the screen. Ears with me. Eyes on the screen. One, two, three. Our Lord Jesus Christ fell. For us for days for the nights to save us from our sins and we to
Okay, guys, great. Thank you so much. I am very proud of all of you. Let's sit down. This is a beautiful, beautiful hymn that we can sing at home, pray at home. I'm sorry. And we agreed we're not using that word. We'll use the word praying. We can pray at home using this. And this is something we can do all day long. All day long, if you're walking around, you can be praying this hymn, asking for forgiveness, and something else will happen. When you're constantly praising those around you at home, you will find them automatically doing the same thing. Same exact thing, as opposed to the worldly way. What's the worldly way? People are walking around singing all day, using the worldly words, and people are copying them. No, no, no. We, all day long, praise God. Praise Him. You know, there is a story about one of the saints of the Coptic Church who went to have an operation. He was a priest. He went to have an operation, done surgery, and they, he was under anesthesia, and then coming out of the surgery, waking up, guess what that priest was saying the whole time he was there? He was praying a liturgy because that's what's in his mind. That's all that's in his mind. So he, as waking up, waking up from surgery means he doesn't really have much control over his self, himself. So he's just saying what's in his mind. And what was in his mind? The liturgy. Great, right? So this is what we want to reach. So, all right, we're going to start. The next part, the next part is beautiful. Okay, Elijah, can we turn around? Eyes on the screen, Elijah. Thank you. All right. The next part goes, where are the words? Number three. Eyes on the screen, guys. I have sinned. I have sinned. My Lord Jesus, forgive me. For there is no servant, servants without sin, nor master without forgiveness. Okay? So it goes that, this way when I split it. I have sinned. I have sinned, my Lord Jesus, forgive me. Okay? the words, you already learned another hymn in the same time, which is what? The gospel? When? For what? Weekdays. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Right. Hear it one more time, and we'll go. Please stop, guys, making any noise. Let's not distract each other. Can I have this, Andrew? Thank you. We will get to use it, I promise, but let's learn this part first. Okay. I have sinned, I have sinned, my Lord, or Jesus, forgive me. Easy, right? Let's try it together. One, two, three. I have sinned. And uh, I have sinned, my Lord Jesus, forgive me. One more time. I have sinned, and uh, I have sinned, my Lord, or Jesus, forgive me. Danny, I have sinned.
I have sinned. Jesus, forgive me. Great. Okay. Should we? Okay. And then we start from the beginning. Okay, good idea. You guys think you have this part down? Okay. So the next part, uh, a little bit different. Okay, so the long word, the next part, the next portion of the verse says, for there is no servants without guys are you listening okay without sin no master without forgiveness so it goes for there is no servants without sin in no or master without forgiveness. What do you think? Easy or easier than the part before? Okay. You want to hear it one more time? Harder than you. So, yes. And it did not really sound right. Thank you, um, Shadi. So, forget the S, guys. Okay. So if we say it doesn't make, linguistically, it doesn't make much sense to say servants, but one master. So it does make sense because there is only one master, which is God. But here in this verse, we will drop the S, and it goes for there is no servant without sin, nor master without forgiveness. Okay? Let's try it one more time. Or hear it from me one more time. For there is no servant without sin, no or master without forgive. Eyes on the screen. Eyes on the screen. Ears with me. Okay? Do you want to hear it one more time or do you want to say it with me? Say it? Okay. Eyes on the screen. Ears with me. Let's go together. One, two, three. For there is no servant without sin, no without forgive Danny for there is no sir without sin no or master Danny, for there is no stop. See, I didn't say with you. Eyes on the screen. Why do you think the part that says no servant underlined? Because we say it all together. No servant. We don't stop anywhere in there. Just like without sin, it's the same way. Okay, so this is your cue that you don't stop here. We don't spread out the, two, the word no and servant. Okay, no servant, one word or one piece, not no. Okay, all right, let's try it from Laul Tani. The size on the screen, guys, please. One, two, three, four, there. Okay, so we're not ready. All right, hear it from me one more time, and then we'll say it all together. For there is no servant without sin, no or master.
star without forgiveness all together for there guys i don't hear you are you tired minute out one two three remember no servant together for there is no servant Without sin, no, or master, without forgiveness, for there is no servant without sin. No, or without forgiveness. Okay, once we reach without, we say it a tool. Without forgiveness. Okay, so don't extend it apart. One more time, Aban. For there. No servant without sin, no or master without forgive Danny for there. Without sin, no, or Danny, for there is no servant without sin. And no without forgiveness. So I'm still seeing a little delay between without and forgiveness. Remember, once you say without, we say forgiveness right after it. Without forgiveness. Okay? All right? How about we say it one more time, and then we get, begin the whole thing from the beginning. But this time, let's do I have sinned, the third verse all together for a couple of times, because this is the new verse that we learned today. Guys, we're almost done. I promise. You're doing great. I know it's been a very long day for you. Best said, the, only, the amount of work you invest now while you're young, so much better than in the future when you're older. It takes a whole longer time. To learn hymns when you're older. Ask me. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. I have sinned. And I have sinned. My Lord Jesus. Forgive me. For there is no servant without sin, no or master without forgiveness. Great. Great, great, great work. Okay, one more time. Sure. All right, second and third. Uncle Fuad said we'll say the second and the third. All right, guys, let's get one. Class, we're not learning verse number four today, I promise. Okay, we'll learn it next time. One, two, three. And we, 
I'm sorry, guys. No. I started you wrong. I apologize. Okay. And we... I am so sorry. So I'm getting tired too. Okay. Let's go to verse number one. And that happens sometimes. That happens sometimes in hymns. You'll find yourself stuck in an area. And the best way to get out of that is to begin from the area before it. Okay? To, from our sins. Okay. One. We're going to keep repeating it until we hear the one voice. One voice. One, two, three. Our Lord Jesus Christ fast Good job. Big hand. Big hand. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, because the second verse uh, we stopped on, so I'm sorry. We have an agreement, sir. And we said if we didn't say it that well, we're going to what? We're going to repeat it. I'm so sorry. We had a deal, guys. We had a deal. Yalla, one more time, all together. Okay. Our Lord, our Jesus Christ, fasted for a forty Okay. 
Okay, so this is the one. This okay. Is the mistake, guys. Listen. Okay. So, one more time, one more time. One more time. Okay, can you say? Okay, can you sing this second half by yourselves? Good job. One more time. One more time. One more last time. Guess what? We have a few people. I'm not going to say any names. Hashem at the home did not say it with us. So we will say it one last time. One. <laughs> one last. One last time. Daniel. Okay, so guys. So are you okay? So if you're sitting next to someone who's not praying with us, just remind them gently to start praying with us. Okay? This is what we do, right? Even in our spiritual life, guys, this is what we do. If I find my friend, my brother, not coming to church, not attending, not dressing, not praying if he's in church, what do we do? We encourage them. Yes? This is what God wants us to do. Don't we say our Father, our Lord? What does the word our mean? Means that we are what? Brothers and sisters. One family. Okay. Eyes on the screen. Eyes on the screen. Ears with me. One, two, three. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand for us for days and for Oh, let 
fight as fast with with purity and wrong and law all proclaiming okay guys you see, we fill in the same exact part. And we... Okay? And let us... I'm sorry, not we. Okay, so does that mean we're paying attention? Or we're getting tired? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let's... Stand up. Okay. Last time. Guys, let's try. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> purity and righteousness and the guys next week god willing we're gonna finish this hymn okay the week after be attention to this the week after we're gonna learn one of the most famous and important and nice hymn on the coptic church so you're learning a hymn for your entire life so Okay, guys, so next week we're going to finalize this hymn, so everyone needs to be here. And the week after is the day we are waiting for. Okay, guys? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you for our brothers and sisters who we are surrounded with today we thank you for the opportunity to praise you and worship you please lord give us to taste the true joy and the true happiness and fulfillment and peace that we will experience in your presence in worshiping you because there is nothing else we can do in this life or the next life that equals praising and worshiping you give us that true spirit of humility and the true spirit of repentance and help us benefit from this glorious season of Lent. Through the intercession of our Mother Mary, all the archangels, angels, the powers, the principalities, St. Mark the Evangelist, hear us, Lord, as we call upon your name in one voice, saying, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. If your parents are not here, guys, no one leaves, please. If your parents are not here, do not leave the church. It's very icy. Walking, no running.